Trump going to Washington is like an episodic pivot for the market. As you saw, the market has reacted very positively to it. So, what is an episodic pivot? It's basically some sort of an information which completely changes market participants' view about a stock or market. And if you see in the last five days, uh, the market has like an a really took off. or uh, in the last 3 days once the news came out basically so you will see that the small caps are the one which are leading followed by dow jones and then the total market index is also up s&p uh, the nasdaq has struggled uh, primarily because the technology stocks are not uh, participating in this rally so this particular move is basically how do you play it and if it is a game changing move which is likely to lead to the market taking out this multi year uh, so you see this multi year consolidation if it breaks out then the market is likely to make a big move here also you will see that like this particular small cap market is essentially stuck in a range from 2014 Uh, so it's like an almost for uh, two years or three years it has been going sideways, and this powerful breakout then can lead to a multi-month rally, or at least a rally for the next six to nine months. Uh, so how do you play that? That is the question. If it is a game-changing rally, so basically, a couple of things to look at. Look, kind of what I did is I did a Trump uh, watch list kind of a thing. basically looking at things which have really gone up the most in the last 5 days so like like say if you look at uh, the liquidity universe which is basically stocks uh, which are basically all stocks and liquidity is true that is their 100000 plus uh, volume in the last 3 days and price is above uh 2 dollars or 3 dollars whatever you want to set and let's look at like and uh, they uh, sorted by a five days move so in five days which stocks have made the biggest move basically so if you see like and uh, you have the biotechnology stocks making the big moves some of them like and uh, OCR like now OCR therapies so one can like and uh, select some of these stocks these are likely to have a continuation move kind of uh, uh, so basically i looked at the top 100 to see uh, because you don't want to go beyond 100 or even 50 basically which are the one which are making the big move this was already making a big move so i wouldn't even look at that but you have this like an earth stone energy which is like an making a move or like not everything which is here has high volume so i only i'm looking at something which looks like an a really a big uh, like this is a big move see uh, volume also came in so let's take this hello uh, zaim thai this is another biotechnology play then yeah this another biotechnology play i'm not going to take everything because uh, really like something which is very low priced i'm just avoiding but I, and also volume has to be high so you have got prt it's see Uh, once i do this watch list even though like we are going to watch the stocks most of the stocks which are going to go up a lot like this kind of a thing already will show up in your ti65 universe like or this or this they already will be in ti65 universe so but this is just to see what has started breaking out and some of them will have uh, second leg uh, or like first consolidation and that's what we are interested in so uh, microgenics another biotechnology play so i'm not going to take everything as i said like and where you see really this is like an a clear big move which has come out of this consolidation actually then you have bridge point education volume wasn't really high biotechnology as you see the theme is really biotechnology uh, things which are coming out and uh, uh, there might be reason for that primarily the reason being that uh, the change in economic policy see uh, trump going to washington is going to be like an one of the most business friendly uh, uh, government which you can have uh, in last couple of decades probably so that's why the market is going up and one of the reason why the uh, biotechnology stocks are going up is that uh, one of the things uh, trump has said he wants to do is to allow companies to bring back the money which is parked outside if that money comes in then there is uh, speculation that it will be uh, used for buyouts and things like that and that's why the uh, most of the drug companies shifted out of us if you remember in the last couple of years uh, and they parked their money outside now 
it's likely that uh, that money will come in and it will lead to the rally. Those are some of the things which are being speculated, but we don't have to look at that. What we are really looking at is which stocks has took off, and those are the stocks which we want to basically put in a watch list and look at them for a first pullback, like something like this has took up, and the volume is also there. Uh, so even this rail has take up but volume wasn't really high some of these are like an a some of these you can explain by high short interest also uh, but as you see as thematically it's really the biotechnology stocks uh, which are like uh, taking off like something like this is huge move and volume was also there or like say this uh, kind of a moves so just to get an idea of what is moving I'm going to go through these 50 stocks or 100 stocks and put some of them in a watch list and as I said earlier also uh, that these stocks will also show up in your momentum watch list so uh, And as you can see clearly biotechnology is the one which is uh, and some steel stocks uh, metal stocks so you have this AKS Health Equity HQY Copper NVIDIA is not really related to Trump, it is more related to its own earnings. Uh, so those are the 100, like let's put this uh, 22 stocks in a Trump watch list, okay. Now what I've done is like I took all the stocks from DJ30, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and put them in one watch list as an index component watch list. Uh, so yeah, because you want to see which index component because when you do an overall market it's dominated by small caps, smaller stocks but there are some large stocks also which made a big move in the last five, four or five days and you want to be looking at them because that is where you can do a size kind of a trade. So you have a, uh, this. Uh, so I'm going to look at like say top 50 out of this, uh, probably 10% of the market which made a big move, uh, United Rental. So these are some of the thematic things where large funds, obviously a move like this which is uh, for a company which has a market probability of 7.5 billion is more larger funds and investors like the hedge funds and all making um, asset allocation or going into them. So those are the kind of stocks which you want to also have a keep in a watch list. So FCX, okay. Coles, uh, okay, I am not so sure about this but like regeneration I would take, MNK not really, it's really just, see volume wasn't really game changing. CF, uh, Industries, uh, you have, where there is huge volume you want to see like and really that's a sign of participation like see here, you have like one of the highest volume, uh, at least like almost highest volume in the last one year. Uh, so MLM I'll take Biotechnology anyway, we have these kind of stocks already in this thing. So regional financial, CSRA, information technology. Um, so Zion, Bank Corp, you have like these banks going up. Uh, so new car, that's like a steel play. Again, like a new car has a market capitalization of around 18.8 .8 billion. So somebody made a huge bet on new car and see volume was highest volume. So that's like a clearly a Trump PP. Uh, Morgan Stanley, okay. Uh, Schwab. Vertex, it's not really key car, regional banks. Banks. Uh, are likely to benefit Wells Fargo, see huge volume came in here if you see vol highest volume in probably a couple of years so that's like and it tells you something. Uh, general uh, Goldman Sachs, how can Goldman Sachs not be the beneficiary of any government right. Uh, so GS and then you have Robert Hop International, not really high volumes I didn't take that. So, uh, Fifth Third Bank, FITB, and they already have established momentum discovery financial. 
So we'll go through. I will go through the top 50 and look at something which is Parker Hennepin has high volume uh, here. Vulcan Material Corporation. This is a play on the infrastructure because he wants to invest one trillion in infrastructure. Uh, and then your Bank of America, MetLife, CMA. Prudential, all basically these are all financial stocks, JP Morgan and Chase, uh, CAT, okay. Jacobson Engineering, again infrastructure play and those are the 50 stocks out of that like another one which I have uh, flagged, I am going to put it into a Trump watch list. Okay, So Mr. Trump goes to Washington and you want to make money out of it like that's the objective right um, so then let's look at industry indexes which industry indexes took off like and which sector really uh, led this particular advance and again this is all been sorted by five days uh, five days is basically c divided by c5 or like and how much did the sector or a stock made a move in last five days so let's look at like and i say this is copper so obviously we'll take copper we'll take around top 10 sector metal fabrication okay and also where there is a clear like in a huge volume or top 20 out of that will take like an so to keep an eye on them because they are the one where these are clear indicators of asset allocation these are not driven by individual stock moves or individual catalyst it is driven by an overall um, this is really a, uh, uh, this thing capital market tracking see tracking is there then your banks regional uh, so you have biotechnology which is an obvious like this thing the banks regional so out of the 10 those are the one which are like basically you can keep going down but like really I want to take those top 10 or 9 sectors so copy flag to again Mr. Trump watch list and then like and let's do the same exercise for say ETFs uh, so let's look at ETF. So ETF universe is basically again US exchange traded funds and liquidity is true. So you are not taking illiquid. Uh, uh, so now you have Labu as the one which is like benefited the most. JDST which is basically the gold going in the opposite direction. Dust. I'm going to look at like top 20 probably here. Uh, some of these will be repetitive because JDS Industry or UBIO and Labu they are like in the same sector right and a TNA so TNA is one of the larger play on the overall index uh, or overall market URT which is TNA and URT are more or less same biotechnology uh, this is like the interest rate features right the treasury features uh, so this is like in a TMV that's a big move fast that's a big move so basically even if you have to play by using ETFs uh, like things like TNA, Labu, Pass will be something which is uh, which will have a second leg uh, once they consolidate. Uh, that's really the thing. XPI, so Cure, which is a uh, healthcare. Uh, SVXI not really made a big move, so I'm not going to even go to again. You do like any the doubt or stocks made a big move. FBT, this is like an same as many of the uh, things which we have taken. DSLV, which is a silver ETF, which you can put it in a, uh, this thing. Um, watch list, TBT. Again, this is a treasury, uh, the interest rate features basically. And the market is pricing in inflation basically. That's what these are regional banks, BZQ, which is basically the Brazil the, or the emerging market are going down. So let's not like you know, get into too many of them because you want to have a smaller watch list. So copy flag to uh, Trump watch list. So that's what uh, we've done. Basically, let's have a look at the Trump watch list now. Uh, I had done some more work. So I, there might be more than what you see on this. But anyway, we have around 60s. Uh, seven uh, things in it so you have Labu which made the biggest move OCR biotechnology JDST now obviously you're not going to buy this now you are going to wait for or at least the idea is to wait for a proper buy, uh, setup on them and caps is the second leg and uh, that's really the objective okay so some of these are not really related to Trump like this is not really a Trump play this is just a individual uh, stock specific catalyst play so we can take that out uh, probably from that 
then you have tna ot aks hqi hbm this one is also not really a trump play so you can take that out uh, rest of these look like trump play i don't think kss is also a trump play it's more to do with its own earnings so so what's the theme the theme is infrastructure the theme is banks the theme is still uh, which is related to infrastructure and construction all these companies which you see and stock market uh, basically anything related to banking with the intention that with the view that uh, banking regulations uh, will be uh, the slowdown in banking regulation clamp down and the other thing is basically whenever interest rate go up banks go up because they can make more money on the spread uh, so that's really and if you see the sector the sector related things are basically engineering and construction that's why where you have like jacobson engineering and uh, uri and this mlm mlm is actually a supplier uh, and ca capital markets trucking regional banks biotechnology jp morgan cat jacobson engineering uh, i don't know this should not be here so that's goes uh, so those are the things which we take out these three things or four things um, no. remove flagged so you have around 72 things in trump watch list and we'll watch this to over next couple of months to find opportunities to get into trades basically so that's really the whole point behind this trump goes to dc as an ep this is a game changing thing if it takes off uh, it can lead to a big big rally lasting many years because we have been going sideways and we are caught in a funk in terms of like an you know, economic growth so if economic growth kicks up and if the market starts making a big move then you want to look at what themes are emerging or where big asset allocation was done by big players based on Trump as an EP.